Last, but not least, in our tour of the new features in AutoCAD LT 2010 are several improved or brand new drafting tools. Two improvements to the layer drop-down list make color selection easy. A white border around a layer's color swatch indicates a viewport override. You can change the color of a layer by accessing the Select Color dialog directly from the Layer drop-down list without first going into the Layer Properties Manager. Once in the Select Color dialog, the cursor remains visible as you hover over colors, in addition to black and white borders around the swatches, making it easy to see which color you're about to select. The color you choose here will either apply globally or to the current viewport color override. The Distance and Area commands, along with other inquiry tools, have been combined into the Measure tool on the Utilities panel of the Home tab. The Distance option, if you pick two points, displays the distance, delta x, delta y, and the angle in the Drawing Editor. If you need cumulative distances, you can select the Multiple option after you pick the first point. As you continue picking points, AutoCAD LT continually updates and displays the total distance. The Radius option displays the radius of an arc or circle, while the Angle option measures the included angle of an arc, circle, two lines, or three points. The Area tool has been updated to highlight the regions included in the calculation. A contrasting color is used to show subtracted areas. The Volume option is similar to the Area option, but includes a prompt to specify the height that will be used to calculate the volume. A new Reverse command enables you to change the direction of lines, polylines, or splines. This is helpful in controlling the display of special line types, such as those containing symbols or text. Reverse is available either as a standalone command or as an option inside the Edit Polyline command. Another new feature makes it easy to convert spline objects into polylines. Inside the Edit Spline command, the Convert to Polyline option asks for a precision value between 0 and 99. The higher the value, the more accurate the fit will be. The Edit Polyline command can also convert splines into polylines. If you begin the command and select a spline, you'll be asked if you want to convert it. Say yes and you'll be prompted for the precision of the conversion, just like in the Edit Spline command. To help you clean up your drawings, the Purge dialog has been updated to include an option for purging zero-length geometry and empty text objects. The new VP Rotate Assos system variable enables you to choose whether a viewport's view is rotated along with its boundary. When it's set to zero, the view within the viewport will not rotate even though the viewport itself does. If you set VP Rotate Assos to 1, the view will rotate to maintain its orientation relative to the viewport. Finally, AutoCAD LT 2010 includes a command from the top of the LT wishlist, the Align command. Available only at the command line, Align enables you to move, rotate, and scale objects to align them with other objects. For example, I would like to align this new pipe with the empty end of the existing pipe. I will begin the Align command and select the objects to modify. The next prompt is for the first source point, so I will select one corner of the new pipe. Next, I'm prompted for the first destination point, so I'll select the corresponding point on the existing pipe. Then I will select a second pair of points in the same way. Last, I'm asked if I want to scale the objects based on the alignment points. In this case, I want the sizes to match, so I will say yes. The result is that the pipe has been moved, rotated, and scaled to align with the existing pipe end.